My mom, um, my dad actually, after he was in the Navy for a few years, his first real vacation he got, he went to Pakistan and he had his marriage. It was an arranged marriage with my mother. And she was the daughter of a Muslim missionary. Uh, and my grandfather spent his life preaching Islam in the jungles of Indonesia. Uh, so my mom was born in Borneo. Um, and her father was out preaching and her, her mom was trying to make some money to take care of the family. So my mom was left to raise the younger siblings and to raise them in the way of Islam. And so she had spent years already raising her siblings, uh, teaching them the Islamic way. So by the time I was born, you can imagine how much devotion she had to the faith the daughter of a missionary, the granddaughter of a missionary, having already raised kids. And so she raised us to be good, devout Muslims. So what does that mean? Well, that means praying five times a day. That means first thing in the morning, reciting traditions that Muhammad used to recite. On my dad's side, um, my dad uh, chose to come to the United States in the 70s from Pakistan uh, because our sect of Islam was being persecuted by other sects. So it was a bit of a matter of religious freedom. He tends, he actually landed the day that Elvis died. Why is that funny? Um, <laughs> he gets off the plane, he looks at a newspaper, the newspaper says the king is dead. And my dad says, I could have sworn they had a democracy. <laughs> that's, that's how they came from Pakistan, uh, just devoted to Islam, passionate uh, people about their family, their culture. My dad immediately joined the U.S. Navy for 24 years. He served the U.S. Navy. Um, and for, for me growing up then, being an American was not opposed to being Muslim. Uh, it was a matter of being both at the same time. I was an American Muslim, both American and Muslim. I saw my dad go out to sea and defend our country regularly. Well, my mom, when she came to the U.S., no American, definitely no Christian, ever received her into, into their home. To this day, no Christian has invited my mom into her home, except for my friends, but that doesn't count. <laughs> no one in her community has ever reached out and invited her. They see the burqa and all of a sudden they get afraid. And so my mom has not had the opportunity to see what real Christian life is like. Instead, what she's told is that America is a Christian nation. Then she looks at the TV and sees all the crazy stuff happening on Hollywood and all the stuff happening in celebrities' lives. And she hears what's happening in the news and the murders and the rapes and all this and that. And she says, this is a Christian nation. This is what Christian Christianity is all about. You know, if, if people would just reach out, perhaps we'd be able to take care of, of that, but we don't, unfortunately. So for 30 plus years, my mom has been here and, and, and no one in the community has just invited her to say, this is what it's actually like.